it, again, it keeps that abdominal mass in the right. bariatric patient centered and not shifting. So that you know, when you're moving the patient, it's safer for the provider. The patient feels more secure, and, and I think it's better if we let Keith explain. Yeah, it. maybe. Keith, welcome well, back. Uh, do you want to do you want to talk about it or no? no? Oh, yeah, I mean, he did a good job already, right. so I don't have a lot to add. Well, to tell, that, but, tell us about anyway, what, what yeah. drove that the, right. the yeah. add well, addition to the stair chair. A lot of people were really liked our uh, original bear device, and they uh, said, you know, I wish that it would fit on a stair chair, and then we kept hearing that that you know. We wish that you guys would come up with one for a stair chair. So we did. And uh, we went through several prototypes again, and uh, we finally found one that uh, we just loved it. It, it works perfect. It's got this uh, special internal, we call it a special internal slide that we developed. And what it does is uh, when you tighten around the abdominal strap part, the mesh, it automatically draws up the side mesh fabric around the hips and the thighs of the patient. And so, it, it worked beautiful. We had a lot of good comments about it. Uh, uh, like Jamie was saying, the biggest thing that we noticed is that it, it calms that patient down. Right. And a lot of these people are, that are larger, are, um, they're already upset. They're not upset at you, mostly. I mean, you know, they, they're upset because a lot of, the, of what's going on with them, they're out of control. They, don't, they feel helpless. They feel embarrassed. You know, they're about ready to trust a bunch of people they don't know to carry them down a flight of stairs or to put them on an ambulance cot. And uh, these people are, are upset and, and a lot of anxiety goes on. You notice right away that when you put this device on and you secure it, it, it reduces that anxiety. The rescuers can now concentrate on moving that patient without having to worry about, okay, you're, you're going to be okay, you're not going to fall. and, and and uh, so they're able to do their job faster. But the biggest thing that we like is, is how it, it lowers the anxiety of the patient. Kind of so. like a pet huggy, huh? The thing you see on TV. Yep. They uh, it's exactly like down. that. Yeah. Yeah. Very similar to that. Well, so I was over there talking to Jared, right? Is that his name? Jed. Jed, Jed. And just getting just his conversation around how, how he felt sitting in the chair was awesome. And then, yeah. and then something that I remember from practicing but hadn't really thought of is, you know, when you're going down the stairs, people tend to, if they feel it tipping, they'll grab. And then that can cause injuries to the patient. It can cause injuries to the people trying to get people downstairs. Mm -hmm. And I think that's, yeah. that's where the, the beauty of that is because now they feel secure and they're not, they're not amp, apt to grab out, to grab things and pull and and torque everything around, which is really what starts causing injury. I think yeah. your point, though, of the, of the paniculus, you know, the belly, changes the center of gravity. Yeah, absolutely. You know, and, it, and, it, and people, I remember kind of a weird story for this, but in, in medical school, or when I was in medical school, but medical examiner's office on campus, they had like a 100 pound person on the slab, and they couldn't get him to stay on it, because the belly fat would roll. And actually, what we did is we got the ambulance, and got two sheets, kind of basically tied them to the autopsy table. But, but, you know, the center of gravity totally changes and things start going Absolutely. one way. So, yeah, it makes, makes sense, yeah. Yeah, and, and what helps our product with that aspect is uh, it attaches to the frame, just like our right. original bear. And uh, once it attaches to the frame of the stair chair, it becomes one of the unit. The patient can only go so far before you break that center line of, of, of gravity where it's yeah. going to uh, actually cause tip. So it, it doesn't allow... The, the weight to get that far. It doesn't allow the shift, right? Yeah. And then, so you also showed me something over there today. You have an aircraft device, a brand new aircraft device. Yeah, we came up with an aircraft device. Uh, cool. We had a, a aircraft service that was asking about our, our bear unit, and uh, next thing you know, we got in the conversation about uh, horizontal movement during flight and uh, in the event of auto rotation. And uh, so we put a lower leg extremity restraint system on the bear and then we shortened up the fabric too because the weight limitations on aircraft and um, they're they're custom built to the specific kind of, of aircraft skid a lot of wow. the aircraft skids are, are so different there's just not you know the two major brands out there there's several different brands and some aircraft uh, or uh, some helicopter companies even uh, custom make their own oh my god skid right wow. so there, there are several variations out there, but we, we fit it to it, and it's the same dependable product, and uh, it's been going good. So. Well, and that's the cool thing about your product, too. It's very lightweight. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not, I mean, even then, it's already lightweight, and, and but it's strong. I mean, it's durable, and it's got yeah. a lot of a lot of good 
a lot of good flexibility to it. It's nice. It's yeah. really good. It's yeah. awesome. Yeah. Great job. Keith, where can people find more about uh, the bariatrics, uh, both the original bear and your stair chair? Um, they can go to our website, and uh, it's at www.bariatrics. But bariatrics is spelled a little bit different. We spell it B-E-A-R-I-A-T-R-I-C-S. And that's for uh, because it's uh, bariatric equalizing abdominal restraint. And so that's how that all got started. Yep. And your mascot's a bear. So and your mascot's yeah. a bear. <laughs> yeah, Barry the Bear. So. We have, actually, we have two of them here. You so. do. Nice. Yeah. Very cool. And uh, real bears? Well, not real. Giant <laughs> white <laughs> stuffed <laughs> bears. Big, big, big white, big white cute t teddy bears. She, yeah, she fell in love with it the first time she saw it. At, uh, <laughs> Give it to her and try to figure out she, how she can get it home on the plane. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we're driving, so we just stick it on top of the car. <laughs> we, we, we came in, a, in an RV, and uh, we're headed home. and. My wife, Chris, was saying, we got to put them in the chairs, and so they're facing to the back, looking out the window. <laughs> so we, 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 like the Griswolds. <laughs> Vegas put, like a little, yeah. put like a little drink in their hand. Like yep. <laughs> yeah. what, stay, what stays in Vegas, or what happens in Vegas stays Vegas in Vegas. Right. That's, so. right. That's right. Yeah, right. we'll do that. It does. Well, well thanks, Keith, Keith, thanks for coming on, and thanks for continuing the innovative development of, of tools to uh, help with the management of the bariatric patients. Uh, okay. You know, there's lots of things out there, but I don't think anything is cost effective and just plain old effective mm -hmm. as what you have. So thanks for, for doing well, that. Thank you very much thank for you having me over here. Great. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Okay. See you. Thanks a lot.